Yo, what's up, guys? We are Chopped Anime, three of the almighty Chopped Anime. We're back to chop up another episode of Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 22 and 23. We're going to put them together, try to get them combined and get the whole story there for Megumi's ascension, his arc, his domain expansion, his journey, his background. We got a lot in these last two episodes, basically centered around Megumi and him just where he come from where he came from uh we find out he has a sister apparently the you know we find out that uh he was the the guy in high school he was a bully we find out he was pretty strengthy uh compared to normal people we find out something about gojo and him you know we'll discuss that but uh what you got for us mayor on this yeah so it's so it's interesting so Megumi, Megumi's sister got cursed and she's been out since, but this is not, that's not related to the current mission that we have. So this current mission is basically Megumi, they, Megumi and the squad, uh, Yuji and Nobara, they got to go back to uh, Megumi's hometown. And because there's a cursed spirit going around and killing people uh, and locking, after, killing people after locking them out of wherever they're trying to get into. So they come back to the school uh, that Megumi was part of because a lot of the people that are being killed went to that school and we find out that Megumi was just a bully. He would just beat every, everybody up and he was a troublemaker. Um, so, and then you go and you also find out that this cursed spirit, Megumi is afraid that it's going to kill his sister as well. And so that's really what kicks everything off. You know, they... That's why they they become all serious and they think that, okay, it's very likely that this cursed spirit might be too powerful for them. So, yeah, it's interesting. I Megumi's backstory of being bully is like completely not what he seems like he would be. So I really wonder what really made that that switch happen. Like, was it his sister or what? Yeah, it was probably his sister, and he finally grew up. <laughs> you yeah. know, he was probably young, and like, it, it it seems like he was a runt of the Zenin <clears throat> clan. So he probably had a bad upbringing, or like resented something where you know he lashed out. That's usually what happens with kids, you know, lashing yeah. out and being bullies and uh, not being nice to other people. So. Yeah, yeah he that's, did. Also, that's also his half sister too. Right. So they didn't grow up together. Yeah. They like he, met like midway or something. All right. He didn't like her very much. Uh I guess because he was his half sister. Oh, she was his half sister. And he did resent his upbringing because of the whole tie to the Zenin clan. Uh his life was basically shaped around the Zenin clan. He's his literal his literal purpose was to create a super kid in the Zenin clan, basically, like a project or whatever, and to be sold to the Zenin clan. It's a terrible parents, but um, luckily Gojo saved the day and uh, stopped it, stopped the sale to the Zenin clan to, uh, to help the sale of his tuition to, <laughs> to, to Jiu-Jitsu Tech. Uh, so that was, that was an interesting thing to find out, you know, never change Gojo. Uh, <laughs> so, it is interesting because there's tuition. This school has tuition. Like, what? Like, is Yuji paying tuition for this? Man, Yuji gets a full ride, brother. All right. He's out here being an experiment and eating all these Sakuna fingers. I think he gets a full ride. Yeah. yeah so, like, it's, uh, so we figure out that he, he, so we see why. When he gets to the bridge, we figure out that the cursed spirit is tied to the bridge, right? And when they arrive to the bridge, they enter into the how does this work? There's some type of water that mean they were going into the the veil. I think the there's like there was a veil created, and that's what they enter in. Right. So they get in there, and they he, they're fighting Diglett, and everyone everyone gets an opponent eventually in the uh, in the show. And while Yuji's and Nobara gets taken away, as she always gets taken away, she's kind of like useless in these scenes. She has not done anything useful in a while, but she gets taken away. Yuji follows after, 
And now it's Megumi and Cursed Spirit. No, special grade, right? Yeah. And it's a Sakuna finger, right? Yep. And they have a showdown, right? And, you know, Megumi's having his, all his flashbacks and memories and all these things. And, you know, he's trying to he's, – he's, he's, he's sort of a quitter, honestly, in my opinion. But – that's not my problem. He's uh he's not a what how did Gojo describe him? I forgot what it was. He when he was trying to show him like why he's not strong. He he used the example during the baseball game. We were hinted we were hinted at it before because yeah. uh you know after Megumi did the punt did the did the bunt, yeah. uh he he didn't go for a home run like Gojo or Yuji would do. Yeah, he was making that analogy saying that, oh, Megumi always, like, he always plays it safe. And he doesn't actually, like, try to strive and surpass his limits. And so, which is interesting because, so in those flashbacks, we got that, so one, that Gojo was saying that if you really want to, you know, well, he was basically saying that you have the same potential as Yuji. You can be just as strong as him, which is very interesting that Gojo actually thinks that. Because Gojo knows that Yuji is going to be, he has Sukuna in him. So Gojo clearly sees a lot of potential there. And we already know Sukuna sees something too. But he, they were saying that if you actually want to strive and stuff, push yourself past your limits and don't, do, don't keep trying to sacrifice yourself or suicide yourself. So we kind of find out that that move, that yeah that move that uh megumi is always about to do is like a suicidal move which is you know weird because he was about to do that on toto i think like in that in that random face off like what <laughs> we also we also get that flashback to when he fought sakuna when megumi fought sakuna after sakuna took over and sakuna was asking you know why did you run away from the special grade? So Sakuna saw that Megumi had the potential to beat the special grade. And of course, in this episode, we actually do see some of that potential. Right. Um, it's interesting that he also had some dialogue where like, you know, even a certain, a, when a certain switch is flipped, you just change your personality. Because that's what Megumi ended up just becoming wild after that. That was very interesting. You know, uh, maybe this is also part of the what Sakuna might see. I don't know because if you look on, if you look behind Amoya, that same scene is was was before when Sakuna when Sakuna appeared in Yuji. Remember the whole the whole blood scene where he like killed the uh, where he didn't attack. I'll put I'll put the picture up. But that same exact scene is is the same scene that. Uh, Sukuna was in. It was shown the same exact way, which is very interesting. Uh, I I don't get Sukuna's interest in Megumi. Like I, you know, he probably has potential and he's strong, but he's no Yuji or Toto, man. <laughs> All right, like maybe maybe I get proven wrong. Maybe you know I get attacked in the comments, <laughs> or somebody <laughs> might explain better. You know who knows better, but. I, I don't see this hype behind um, Megumi. I mean, you know, he was able to do that partial domain expansion, which is cool, right? I mean, <laughs> not, a, not a lot of cursed uh, uh, or Jujutsu um, sorcerers are able to create the domain expansion. Our boy Nanami couldn't do it, right? So it, it's kind of impressive that a first year uh, sorcerer is able to do it, but Man, Sukuna, you need to be more interested and in paying more attention to Yuji. Maybe he already knows Yuji's that dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Yuji put him on notice when he realized he could just switch when he wanted to. And you can't just take over his body. So, yeah, and, you know, I, I'm on board with Amoya here. I'm not impressed by anything Megami has done yet. He's kind of lackluster. Even I think this episode was supposed to be his big reveal. I wasn't impressed. Um, I didn't. I, I didn't quite care for it at all. Uh, partial domain expansion. 
you turn into a psycho, you start bleeding all over the place, then you almost die doing the partial domain expansion. I'm like, this guy here. Uh, and I get it. Domain expansion takes a lot out of you. And you're, you're bullying your first, first year, second year, I don't know. He's, he's a young guy. But I'm not impressed at the end of the day. Usually would have whooped this special grade with straight hands. Like, usually would have put the mittens on the special grade like he did with Nanami. Uh, not Nanami. Uh, uh, what's that dude's name? Climate change. Um, Hanami. Yeah. So, sure, there's potential. And I get it. Yuji has this cheat code, you know, that kind of, that we don't really know why he is so strong either. But Megami isn't, I don't see it, bro. I don't know what Gojo's talking about. Of course, the anime is probably going to show us, but I think this episode was supposed to show us. And this just wasn't what I was looking for, for the mo- potential, uh, so-called just as much potential as Yuji. I didn't see it at all. So somebody did, what, four black flashes? Now that's potential. Yeah. All right, that, <laughs> back to back to back. Back to back. That's potential. All right. This guy, you know, maybe I'm wrong. I'm sure I am wrong, but I'm not wrong right now. From what I see so far, it's not impressive. So, yeah. you know, that's just me. I, I, I will give him props that he didn't run away this time from the similar ish special grade. Right. Mm-hmm. Um and I think I think one key thing to bring up. While he was um, fighting the special grade, I think he crunched some numbers and he realized that these the the bridge curses started um, happening and people started dying around the same time that Yuji ate Sukuna's fingers. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that was definitely a catalyst to kind of get all these cursed spirits and cursed energy to start strengthening again. And uh, going back to our theory in the previous a couple of videos about how Halloween, possibly October 31st, could be the peak of the cursed energy for the cursed spirits. Um, so maybe maybe this is building up, you know, as, as Yuji eats more Sukuna fingers, there's going to be a stronger pull of uh, all these cursed spirits. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I didn't think about that. Dang, people about to be dying. This is bad. Yeah, I I did not think about that at all. Actually, that's a good point of movie. Oh no. And I don't think it's coincidence that this special grade who had the Sukuna finger looked just like the one previously that they fought. Um. So maybe we'll see more of these special grades. Who knows? Maybe some of them might even have more than one finger, uh, mm-hmm. you know, attached to them. So we'll see, man. We'll see. Uh, I think you are right, though. We're going to see more death and destruction caused by cursed spirits mm-hmm. as they get stronger and as uh, they become more prevalent. So if you're trying to power scale this, this special grade was one Sukuna finger. Jogo is about seven or eight Sukuna fingers. So Megumi, maybe you could say is as strong as two Sukuna fingers. But if Yuji is able to go kind of on par with someone at because he, he fought in Hanami. So Toto and Toto and Yuji can beat us eight fingers. So four okay. each, right? I mean yeah, maybe Yuji, like four Yuji, each. Yuji did consume. About four or three or four, right? Yeah, but he hasn't been using that yeah, to yeah. fight. He's fighting off the strength of him, whatever this fake went up, whatever he has inside of him. He's been fighting <laughs> off that. Yeah. So yeah. he has three fingers, I think. Right. So. so, yeah, I guess if you try to power scale it, that would be the case. Although we do know that Hanami was holding back to an extent, he was about to pull out that domain expansion. And we don't know what was about to happen with that one. So, right. but I still, yeah, I, yeah. So ultimately, Megami has some catching up to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So, but the one thing at the end of the episode that we see that this isn't over, there's a race to the Sakuna finger now, right? And if I recall correctly, these two curse spirits. 
uh, what do they call the something, bro? The cursed womb people. Yeah, yeah, it was. Remember the objects, the death paintings, right? Cursed womb, the death paintings. Ah, they, okay. So they are they they they're the things that they stole from the place, right? Exactly. In episode twenty two, we saw. Um, I think it was Mahito feeding uh, a couple of humans the yeah. yep. the 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 death paintings that they stole. So there's supposed to be three of them. So we I think we just got revealed two so far, right? The weird deformed creature mm. and uh, back face. Okay, <laughs> I'm sure that's back not their face. name, but you know, <laughs> you know how we do with names here in Chopped <laughs> Anime. Wait, wasn't the blue the blue monster too? Wasn't right. that another one? Oh, yeah. The blue monster is the brother of Bat. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. 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 So, so, yeah, there's a race to the finger. And that, that guy's not getting past Yuji. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Hey, I, they better hope Toto don't show up because, you know, <laughs> he, <laughs> brother. He's, he's around where Yuji is. So he's like, oh, brother, tag me in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah it's yeah. an Toto shows up. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just want to kind of circle back to the power scaling thing we were talking about. So where does that put our guy Goat Joe? Huh? You think oh. he's twenty Sukuna fingers? Because he said, "Hey <laughs> man, Sukuna show up, I'm whooping his ass." <laughs> <laughs> like Goat Joe was confident. He should be. We could put him at twenty one. <laughs> twenty one <Ooh>. fingers. <laughs> you gonna need one more of those fingers to beat me. So he has to be at least 20 fingers because they're, they're still like, yeah, we got to seal this guy away. And their plan is never to just hope Sakuna fights him straight up. They're like, no, we got to get rid of this guy. So, yeah, uh, we need more Gojo. Oh, the next episode is the last one. Yeah. Oh, man. Jujutsu Kazan, man. Thank you for all you've done so this year. Thank you. Please end with a bang. You know, not a cliffhanger. I don't like cliffhangers. A bang. <laughs> and, what a, and what a bang. Not a cliffhanger. So, Yeah, and I, I really hope they don't take a super long hiatus. Like, you know, like some of the uh, previous Attack on Titan season. Because yeah. this episode, or this anime has been straight fire. I mean, we, we saw it one anime of the year for 2020. And it totally makes sense. 2021 is going to be a close one, but I think Attack on Titan is giving its a uh, run for its money. Yeah. So it's been a great year of anime, 2021, and more to come. Hopefully, My Hero is uh, is going to be a good one too. So that's episode 22 and 23 of Jujutsu Kaisen. We have one more episode left of Jujutsu Kaisen season one. It's been a great ride. We will be here for the final season review. Please tune in, subscribe, like, comment, share, tell a friend. We appreciate all the support. Chopped anime.